Hey everyone, today's video is all about extending your Wi-Fi network's range using the WDS function on your TP-Link router. If you are dealing with dead zones or weak signals in certain areas of your home, WDS can be a game changer. So let's dive in and get this set up. First of all, to prepare your TP-Link router for the WDS connection, I'd suggest you hard reset your router to its original factory settings. Now, take an Ethernet cable. Connect one end of the cable to the LAN port of your TP-Link router and the other end to the Ethernet port of your laptop. Then log in to your TP-Link router's admin page. If your main router and the TP-Link router have the same IP address, it would cause conflicts and prevent them from working properly. So we need to change the IP addresses of the TP-Link router. To do so, go to Network. Click on LAN. In my case, the main router's IP is 192.168.0.1. So I can change the IP address of this router to 192.168.0.2. If you want to use a different IP, make sure it is on the same subnet as the main router. Otherwise, the two routers won't be able to communicate with each other. Now, restart the router. After restart, log in to the router's admin page with the new IP address. Also, disable the DHCP server on this router to avoid IP conflicts. Then restart again to make the changes take effect. Now, to enable the WDS bridge, go to the wireless section. Check the box to enable WDS bridging. Click the survey button to scan for available Wi-Fi networks. Select your main router's network from the list. Note down the channel of the main router's network. Click connect. The main router's SSID and MAC address will automatically fill in. Just input your main router's Wi-Fi password here. The SSID at the top is the name of this router's wireless network. Make sure the wireless channel of your TP-Link router exactly matches those of your main router. In my case, it is 2. Click Save. Next, to set a Wi-Fi password for the extended network, go to Wireless Security. Here, input a password of your choice. Save the changes. Then go to System Tools and restart your router. Your devices should now see the extended network. You can now connect as you would to any Wi-Fi network. If it is working fine, place the TP-Link router in a location where it can receive a strong signal from your main router and extended coverage to the desired areas.